Oh, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. It's y'all girl, unknown goddess Tara. Welcome back to my beautiful subscribers. And if this is your first time joining, please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification button. Yes, if you like a personal reading, go ahead and check that out on my website at livinginpersonal.style. You can also check out my other YouTube channel, Living in Personal Style. Um, today's read is going to be for my beautiful uh fire signs so that's aries leo and sag all right so we're gonna see what's going on out here overall okay collectively and i'm going to pull some moonology and then i am going to pull um the wisdom chakra okay so already lit my incense got my energy up and out here my fire signs mm -hmm. i'm that i'm that leo north node Got a lot of Sag in my chart. Yeah, yeah. Take control. Real lioness. You feel me? Yeah. All right. So give me the energies on the Leos. Okay. Believe in the impossible. Sag. Now y'all put yourself where y'all belong. Okay. Energy is fluid. Time is fluid. All right. So believe in the impossible. Once in a blue moon. Okay. The end of a. Tough cycle is approaching. Okay. Full moon in Capricorn. So somebody's wanting to believe in some type of end, tough cycle ending with, an, uh, with a Capricorn or a Capricorn. A Capricorn have Leo and they chart me. All right. Yeah. Okay. Confidence is key to success. And look at that. The Leo came out as I said it. Look at that. Right. So put yourself where you where you fit. OK. Put yourself where you fit. Um, please thumbs up the video. I will, I'm looking to manifest a 1000 new beautiful soul subscribers. Yes. I would love to rap with you guys. You feel me? Have y'all ask questions. You know, throw it out there sometimes. Give you an answer. Yeah. All right, so give me the chakras on this. Okay, believing in the impossible. We have gratitude. Okay. So was this person not shown any gratitude, my fire signs? Clarify it. End, cycle. End of a tough cycle. Somebody wants to come back and show gratitude to you, my fire signs, or you want to show some gratitude. Oh, ooh, okay. Let's see. Spirit, this is too many. Mm -mm. Are you just, you're, you're showing gratitude. You're being grateful um, while believing in the impossible, right? That's what I take that as. And now that you are being grateful, the universe, uh, God, you know, it's like your affirmation, you know, you're holding strong. You know, you know, opportunity come comes around once in a blue moon and you don't miss it. And when you do get them, I feel like, you you know, you're grateful for them. My fire signs take care of how it resonates. Right. Or. Um, someone is pregnant and didn't think they they was probably having a hard time getting pregnant, you know, and now you're grateful for this new bundle of joy. If this resonates with you, congratulations. Um you're absolutely grateful for this bundle of joy, but you're ready for it to come to an end. It's, it's hard. It's been a tough one, right? That's what I take that as. Um, maybe you're afraid. Take it from how it resonates, okay? Maybe you're afraid of, you know, embracing this new, um, this new possibility out here, okay? Some of y'all probably can't believe you're pregnant. You're, you're excited. You're grateful. Yeah, take it from how it resonates, okay, for some of y'all. Uh, like I said, I said, like some of y'all are just gaining these new opportunities that do come around once in a blue and you're just grateful for it now because you're seeing all that you believed in that was impossible. Those, the, it's coming towards you. OK, yeah, yeah, it's coming to an ending. All right. That tough cycle. You held on steadfast. You feel me? Yeah. True fire sign. You feel me? Yeah. You knew that confidence was definitely key to your success. Success. OK. All right, so let's keep moving out here. That's what I got so far, so far. So it's looking good, looking good. Let's clarify this end of a tough cycle. What is the chakra on this out here? Let's get it going out here. 
Mm-hmm. What is what is coming to an end? Self worth. Okay. So, like I said, you guys are feeling yourselves. You're grateful for these new opportunities. You're realizing your self worth. You're not letting them pass you by anymore. You know, you're sitting on your sacral chakra. You're you're nurturing yourself. You're realizing like if I just tap into the impossibilities out here, these once in a blue opportunities you know, gravitate to them, you know, really put myself in this position, no more self-doubt. Um, or you feel me? Because that confidence key is the, um, confidence is the key to your sexes, successes out here. You feel me? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very nurturing onto yourself now. You're seeing yourself for who you are. Um, yeah, really, truly loving yourself, my fire sign. So take it and you're, and you're grateful. You're just absolutely grateful. Yeah, you're grateful for your abundance. You're grateful um, if you guys are parents, like I said, the ones that are expecting. Yeah, yeah, you feel like this baby is going to bring, you know, some more self-worth to who you are. You know what I mean? You feel like this is going to just complete you, right? For those who are expecting. Take it how it resonates. All right? All right, so that's what's going on out here. The self-worth is out here. The confidence is out here. Is key to the success. The ending of a tough cycle. Yeah, like I said, some of y'all are getting ready to give birth. Yeah, you're over it. You're grateful. You can't wait for your bundle of joy, but you're just over it. Oh, can't sleep. Yeah, that's that that's that purple. That um <laughs> this is um the third eye. You know, this is like uncomfortable. You're just feeling, oh, but you're still feeling beautiful. You look at yourself, you can't believe it. this is you in the mirror. You know, you're like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening, but I'm so over it. Okay. I'm so over it. And for some, you're just in yourself. You're believing in your impossible of your ideas. Whatever you're putting yourself into when it comes to work. Uh, whatever it is your affirmations are. Whatever you're speaking out there to the, to, to God, to your uh, to the universe. You know, whoever you believe in. You're definitely tapping into that um, self-worth, that higher self. I take this self-worth card as the empress. You know, that that queen of cups energy. That one, that one that's nurturing. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the sacral energy. And this is all about your sexuality. Okay? So it represents this gratitude again with this baby, somebody being pregnant. Okay? And that's sensual, nurturing and honoring and um, and honoring your oneself and nurturing others as well. All right? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Could be doing this. You could be already, you know, just have, be a parent already or a parent. And you just, you know, you're just grateful. You're, you're grateful that you see your children are um, healthy and yeah, whatever you're doing, you're, yeah, you're, you're really starting to take care of yourself. All right. So confidence is key. All right. So impatience and rejection. Oh, so are you feeling impatient with yourself, my fire sign, or is it someone around you feeling impatient? Okay, because we have impatient and rejection out here. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I Like I said, the impatient card goes with this ending of a tough cycle out here for who's delivering. That's that. Um, but I'm picking up another energy, my fire sign, like someone doesn't like the fact that you're rejecting them. Okay. Or you yourself is just impatient with whatever this, what you, whatever this affirmation, this, whatever this is right here, this believing in the impossible. Maybe you've um, applied for a house. Um, maybe some of you guys just want to move on. You want to climb up the ladder in your position. You see this person reaching. You know, and you just feel like you're moving. You're not moving, you know, everywhere you turn to make these changes, you, you're getting, you, you, you know, you're just being rejected. OK, um, the spirit is telling you right here, believe in the impossible. OK, keep pushing because um, confidence is key to your success. OK. Um, yeah. And I feel like for some of y'all, the end of a tough cycle is approaching because, yeah. The end of a tough cycle is approaching with that situation. 
All right. You're, you're grown impatient. You're tired of being rejected or this person that you're rejecting. Um, I feel like they, they want to come in and, you know, start over believing in impossible with you, my fire signs, because they see that you, you know, you're on your self-worth. You've ended the tough cycle with them. You know what I'm saying? You realize that your confidence was the key to your success. And now you're like, I'm no longer dealing with these people out here that, you know, I, I, I just got tired of being um, patient with them, you know, always reaching for them with them and nothing is coming of it. And so now I'm rejecting it. And these people don't like the fact that you, you know, your confidence is out here. They don't like the fact that you you found your self-worth for the ones who are feeling rejected or for the ones who are feeling like, you know, I need to change my position. I need to find a different way to make money. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Confidence is the key. Okay. You got your self-worth. But for some, take it how it resonates. I feel like this person over here who's feeling rejected and being um, feeling impatient with you because they're trying to reach for you. And it's like they're not getting any further because they see that you're confident and you out here on your own self-worth. Okay. With or without them. Probably they standing here watching your seat of empress, your 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 abundance, your happiness, your nurturing of oneself and the kids or whatever it is you're doing. You, you know, you're finding your balance and they don't like that. They don't like the fact that you bring in this tough cycles. Your tough cycles are coming to an end. They, they don't like that. OK, now they want to believe in the impossible and probably come in and show you this gratitude. But let's clarify some more of my fire signs. Let's see what's going on out here. Here, here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put your place yourself where you know you belong, okay? Place yourself where you belong. Ooh, the cap fit. Let them wear it. You feel me? Yeah. Let them wear it. All right. So let's see out here. Is there any romantic energies out here? Who is this impatient and rejection spirit? Is this a romantic energy spirit? Or this is oneself? My beautiful fire signs. Is this from a past lover, romantic energy? This impatient and rejection. Please clarify. Is this a romantic energy? Is this an ex lover? Hmm. No. Ooh. Okay. All right. So finances and career. Financial issues are affecting your love life right now. Okay. So, like I said, um, some of y'all are in this position, and yeah, you're probably in this relationship. Um, yeah, I feel like some of y'all are just impatient right now for the ones that are in a relationship with this person, this, I feel like this person over here who's in their self-worth, they probably rejecting this person. This one who's impatient, this this emperor empress who's sitting on their throne over here. I feel like you're rejecting this person because financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. And they're probably feeling. They're probably feeling like, you know, codependent. They probably feeling like lack of their own confidence. You feel me? Yeah. Probably you're in that relationship with this. Yeah, probably you're in a relationship. And like I said, you're trying to grow in this position that you're in. I said that. You're trying to go up the ladder. And everywhere you turn, you know, it's like a rejection. You feel me, I said? And yeah, but Spirit is letting you know, just you got to keep believing in the impossible. It's probably, you know... Yeah, and I feel like whoever you're with, your partner or you yourself, you got to get on this throne. Get on this throne. Um, get into your self-worth. You know what I mean? Tap into, tap into a different way of bringing in a, an, an income is what I'm hearing Spirit tell y'all. You know, some of y'all are attached to what the world wants to see you as. And you should just tap into your natural talent. Yeah. Because that's that's what's going to bring um, this end of this tough cycle out here. Okay. This is what's going to bring this success. You know, if you just believe in the impossible. You feel me, Sam? Believe in the impossible. Because I feel like, yeah, it's take, it's, it has an effect on your relationship. Okay. And maybe, yeah, 
And maybe your partner's just like, yo, I can't deal. I don't, I don't want to be around you. You feel me, I said? They're feeling impatient with you and they're rejecting you. Or you're rejecting them. Put yourself where it, where it resonates. Okay? But this definitely, I feel like, this is the finance. I really, I felt that. This finance energy out here. Okay? Maybe some of y'all just need to go back and do something online to, you know, upgrade your skills. Something, something like that. Maybe that's what you need to do. Um, Self-worth and end of tough cycle. Clarify this. Is there a romantic energy out here for the self-worth and end of the tough cycle? Maybe you and your partner are separated and it's affecting your confidence, you know, because you're not bringing in this money right now. And they're tired of hearing it. You're tired of hearing their excuses. Because you feel like, you know what, I can bring this tough cycle to an end because I can do this on my own. You know, take take it for who it resonates for. Okay. Yeah. Clarify the self-worth. Oh, yeah. So you feel like, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I felt it. Some of y'all are this person that's feeling rejected. My fire signs. Yeah. There was a release here because you've seen their deception and you got on your throne. So with this person, whatever this financial issue that was going on right here in the, in, in the, for some of y'all in this relationship. Okay. Yeah. You brought it to an end because you've seen them, you released them. Yeah. The end of the tough cycle, um, uh, end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, you got on your throne, king, my emperor, my empress, take it out, resonates. You release this person and you've seen their deception because you've seen their deception, right? Yeah. yeah and probably has something to do with money because it says financial issues are a factor in your love life. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? And so this person is lacking in their confidence. Yeah, they're lacking in their confidence. And, you know, you just grew impatient with them talking about, yeah, I'm always doing, I'm always, yeah, I'm out here, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. And they're feeling impatient because you're also rejecting them. They don't like the fact that you're on this throne out here, my fire sign. You release them because you've seen their deception. Okay, they, they're really impatient out here. And for some, I'm going to call it how it is. Um, they need to stop doing this dark magic energy because they're spending their, their money in it. Yeah, you see that root chakra? Oh, yeah, they're really embedded in it. They're out there planting them seeds on you. And whatever they're trying to plant these seeds on in their money with the money, uh, yeah, it's, they're growing impatient. Yeah, they're growing impatient because whatever it is, spirit is letting them know, cut it out. Okay? We, we, we got our fire signs back. Cut it out. Stop it. All right? Stop it. <laughs> Cut, cut it out. Confidence is key to your success, but it ain't happening for you, boo. That's why you're feeling impatient, and that's why you're feeling rejected. Get out of here. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> they don't like this, honey. They don't like the fact that you released them. You saw the deception. Now they want to come back and, do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the energy I'm talking about. Look at that. I didn't even... I'm, yeah. Believing in the impossible. Oh, I felt that one in my gut. Oh. Yeah, I felt it. Now they want to come back and make it seem like they're so grateful. Um, You could have been... The, you could be the mother of their child, the father of their child. Okay, yeah. Do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. Yo. This energy is out here a lot, I swear. COVID brought a lot of eye-opening situations. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. They don't like the fact that you released. Brought your tough cycles to an end. Sitting on your throne, my emperor, my empress. You released them because you've seen their deception. Okay, let's clarify the believe in them. Impossible and gratitude, then we're gonna go to the ride of terror out here and see what else they got lurking up their sleeves. Uh-huh. Lord have mercy. Clarify this believe in the impossible. What is it? This 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 reject over here. Because somebody feel rejected from you, my fire sign. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody feels rejected. They they don't they don't like the fact that they what did I say? Three cards came out. Look, look at this. Do you believe in magic? No, not with you. Let's pull this down out here, baby. All right. So as far as I see here, I brighten up the lights. This person right here believing in the magic, they see that you're over here loving yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? So they see that you're over here loving yourself, and now they want to come back and, and make amends with you. Yeah, now they want to be grateful and, you know, show you how much they really appreciate you. And yeah, you know, I wasn't grateful before, and I see you over here loving yourself now, and you've healed from all that I did for, to you. Um, with this deception out here mm -hmm. and I see that you now release me and you put me me the karmic <laughs> to an ending I see that you out here grateful and living a loving and loving you fire sign okay this is how they see you right they see that you release them right yeah so now they want to come back over here because they see you in your self-worth what did I say Loving yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? I can't make it up. There go the self-worth right there. This is what they're watching you do, right? And now they want to come back. Let's clarify some more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now they want to come back. Now they want to, then now they see you doing all of this and sitting on your, your your throne. My emperor, my empress, fire sign, put yourself where it resonates. They want to, yeah. They want to believe in the magic with you now. Before they didn't, right? No, before they didn't. They didn't because they were being deceptive, right? Especially with some money situation over here, right? Yeah. All right, so let's clarify some more. So it says right here, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Well, guess what? It came in the reverse for this person. Because why? Like I said, whatever they out here reaching in the moon magic for whatever they're trying to captivate with this soulmate energy out here like i said do you believe in magic all right yeah they're not getting this fulfillment out here spirit is letting them know you're not messing with my fire sign they want worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life uh it came in the reverse no it's not they're trying to pull you in with this soulmate energy yeah, and they realize it's, it's not happening, okay? They looking all confused, like, why am I being rejected? I did this before. It, it always worked. <laughs> okay, and so they're lacking in their confidence over here because they going broke over here, trying to do all this energy work over here with you, trying to bring back the soulmate energy, you know, waiting on divine time and to make it work in this love life. Yes, because I'm manifesting my soulmate, and yes, I am. Yes, I am. Or some of them is just flaunting their penniless self in front of you, acting like they got it. And really and truly, they broke. They broke. They're praying for a miracle. They're praying for whatever the money that they're trying to flaunt in your face. They still broke, but they front with all this confidence. Okay? This could be a very, this, yeah. You could be dealing with another fire sign like yourself, my, um, my, my fire signs. This could be a Leo that you're dealing with yourself. Okay? Take it how it resonates. Yeah. They still fronting, okay? They still fronting, yeah. They still they still out here on this deception. They ain't got nothing, okay? Yeah, okay. So yeah, that believing in magic is yeah. They out here trying to really pull you back in, and they see you as their soulmate, and they're praying. Some of them are praying. Some of them are pulling in this moon magic energy, that dark energy. Like I said, they out here planting them seeds. That's where their money is going, trying to bring you back. Mm -hmm. And they're rooted in it. They're determined to have you back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But they're shattering in their own confidence here. Their confidence is there. Yeah, they're not gaining any no no patience. Uh whatever they're doing, it's being rejected. There go the three spirit guys around them. Three. Mm-hmm. Our emperor, our empress is highly protected. Go out here and go sit down somewhere, okay? Uh yeah, you're not having this victory over here with them. All right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for that rejection and impatience. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're believing in the impossible. They think that's, you know, they're going to be whatever they're doing. And some of them is hoping to get themselves together um, and to come back. They're praying that, you, you know, you guys can work it out. Take it how it resonates, okay? Take it how it resonates. 
Yeah, so that's what's going on so far. And let's see what else is going on out here. Let's get some right the tarot out here. See. See. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else is going on, my beautiful fire signs. Okay, Sag, Leo, and Aries. All right, if you like this read so far and it's resonating with you, please give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? All right, so let's clarify. Let's get right here in this deception right here. Let's clarify this deception spirit. What was this deception? Ace of Pentacles, didn't I tell you? Somebody out here was messing around with this bread. Yeah. Someone out here was boosting the hopes. Making it seem like, yeah, I'm going out here. I'm working hard with you. Yeah. They was really trying to spend this money and trying to keep you out here and keep you trapped. Here they were. They didn't want you to get on your seat of empress. No. They didn't want you to gain new opportunities. They didn't want you to pay attention. and, and, and um, Yeah, they didn't want you to gain this. So this deception out here is what they were spending this money on. Pet pentacles and finances. It goes hand in hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for the ones that walked away and was like, you know what? I can do this on my own. You know, I'm tired of you trying to reach for the stars or whatever you out here say you're doing. And you just rejected this person. Like, I'm going to get on my own throne and do me. I, I can do this on my own. I can bring these tough cycles to an end. Sit on my own throne and do me. I'm, I'm tired of your lies and your deception. I'm always, you know, putting my money in with you, trying to invest with you, trying to build with you. This Ace of Pentacles is like a marriage. You know what I mean? You guys were doing it together through a union, but it's like no more. And so this person realized that you walked away and you ended it. You released them. I can't make it up. You brought the tough cycle to an end. It's like, okay, why stick around with you and, and, and go through hardship with you when I'm better off on my own? Okay. And that's what you did. You released them. Got on your throne and brought that tough cycle to an end. They don't like that. They don't like that. Okay. They don't like that. Yeah. You should be over here confused and not loving yourself, not showing any gratitude, nothing. You should know. You shouldn't be over here doing this, being grateful and gracious and beautiful and just nurturing and uh, without me, without me. <laughs> okay. So I feel like, like I said, it caused a financial issue in your marriage, you know, yeah. They weren't really putting anything out here. They just wasn't budget. They wasn't budgeting the finances out here. Okay. You probably just got tired of that. Walked away. It's like, I could do that on my own. And they feel bitter. Yeah. Because now whatever they plant, they season to keep you here in this deception. They broke. They are broke. It's not working. Spirit is like, cut it out. Once again, cut it out. <laughs> Stop it. Stop spending your money on this. You know, Yes, cut it up. We're not we're not gonna allow you to keep doing this. So this is what they was doing out here with this ace of pentacles out here, being deceptive with this money, and that's why it was causing financial issues in your relationship. My fire said, okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. They was out here with third party situations. Maybe that's why y'all release them because I'm clarifying this release X and this is why you probably release them. Whatever investments you will always put in, in it with them. Like I said, you're like, God, every time I put my money in with you, you it just goes down the drain. Whatever y'all invest in, um, this person was probably too much out here celebrating, living off of your bread, being deceptive. Like, yeah, they putting the work in when really they was out here cheating, probably having Tom, Dick and Harry, Mary Jane and Lou. Take it out, resonate. So you have to release them. You feel me? You have to release them. Yeah. You let them go. You let them go. You've seen their deceit. Yeah, you've seen their lies. Yeah. This deception out here talking about, yeah, I'm getting some new opportunities out here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. Whatever they was investing out here, yeah, you had to, yeah, it was a lie. They wasn't investing in anything. Third party situations, that's what they were investing in. Yeah. They was out here being nurturing and loving and sexual and sensual with somebody else. They was giving away that seat to Empress to somebody else. Yeah. And they didn't think you would see it. <laughs> okay. So there's different scenarios out here. Yeah. You release them. This deception had to go. Okay. 
Clarify this rejection and impatience. Clarify this rejection spirit. Clarify this. Okay, let's see what's this. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, I want to come out. Okay, yeah. Whatever this was. I told you. This magician energy they were trying to pull out here on you. I can't make it up. This energy they was trying to pull out here with you. This stunts. Guess what? Spirit guys is like, what? What are you doing? We see you out here. What are you doing? Okay. What? What are you doing? What, you can't be pulling stunts out here on our fire sign. What are you doing? What? I, this is the spiritual courts out here. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is the spiritual judge out here. What are you doing? We see what you're trying to do is unfair and unjust. Okay, we see that whatever you're trying to do, you we're gonna have you rejected. You know why? Because what you're doing is unfair, it's unjust, it's dishonest. Okay, and so therefore, this magician energy that you want to pull, it is not going to happen. Okay, that's why you're gonna grow impatient. But the impatient card came first, so we're gonna put it in order. Okay, you're growing impatient with this magician work because, like I said, like we, your spirit guides, your angels, like we said or some of y'all went to court or still waiting on a court date is what i'm hearing as well okay they're trying to pull this energy from you not moving forward without them that's why they're feeling impatient and, re and rejected take your heart resonates but uh, otherwise the spiritual courts the spiritual judge is saying listen you're going to be impatient with this because we see what you're trying to do over here we see what you're trying to do over here okay you're trying to mess with our emperor our empress out here you can't do that you will not be able to do that. Why? Because we made sure that they're going to stay on their throne. We're going to make sure. Because they're believing in us. Yeah, they are. They, they're manifesting with us. Okay, the story's getting up out here, honey. It's coming out clearly with this right of tarot. Okay? All right? Yeah. We're going to make sure that they believe in the magic with us. And that's what they're doing. They sit right here. And we're going to make sure these cycles are coming to an end. While you sit over here in your reverse magician energy, you're not getting any justice from this magic. You're going to be rejected like we said. It's not happening. Go sit down. Okay? Go have a seat. How you going to win when you ain't right within? Uh-uh. Come again. Like I said, you're not going to manifest this magician work because, like we said, it's unfair, <laughs> it's lack of accountability, and it's dishonest. Reject. Okay? Yeah. You're rejected. No more. Cut it out. You're rejected. Cut it out. All right? Can't you see that's why we're bringing your pentacles down? It's, it has an effect on it for a reason. Stop trying to plant these seeds out here and with your deceptive energy. Going to go get high priestess energy, spending your money on this on this um, spiritual work. Yeah. Some of them, like I said, y'all was married. Not all of them is doing spiritual work, but they they was just being very deceptive out here, cheating, lying, spending their bread with their third party situations out here giving out their sexual energy to everybody else and partying it up and living it up. And yeah. And you just like, you know what? I, I can do bad by myself. Let me bring these cycles to an end child. Cause this ain't working for me. And I got to release you boo. Cause I know my self work. Mm -hmm. You can stay over here in your deception and your third party situations and keep lying to me and telling me that you're investing in all this that we said you said we're doing. Well, obviously not. That's not where the money was going. Mm-hmm. That's not where the money was going. Okay. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. Put yourself where you fit. All right. Yeah. And for some of y'all, like I said, back to that work business, that, that believing in the impossible. Okay. And sitting on your throne. Okay. Maybe you're in this work situation. Just, you know, out here and... Um, Spirit is saying if you just believe in the impossible, okay, for the ones that are doing this, because I'm, I'm getting several energy, so take it how it resonates. I would start it out at first. Uh, if you believe in the impossible, okay, for who, who, for who the ones are doing this and creating new um, 
business ideas, trying to figure out your new stream of income, you know, you're being grateful right now. That is happening for you. Okay. You're getting these new collaborations. Um, you're believing in the possible, holding the faith, and you're being grateful for every moment. You know, these once in a blue moments that come around, you, you, you're not passing them by. You see that spirit is blessing you abundantly, right? Yeah. And you're on your magician energy out here. Yeah. You're out here manifesting with the most high. It goes with the ace, ace of pentacles and the magician. Yeah. And you're gaining back your confidence. Okay. Okay. Because this is not all a relationship for everyone. But this is how I started out when I feel like somebody was trying to figure out a different way of making money. And, you know, spirit was telling you, tap into your natural talent. You know, go out there, start getting yourself out there. And like I said, for some of y'all, y'all are creating these new opportunities, new friendships, um, new business collabs. I feel like some of y'all are doing online, um, a lot of Google Meets, whatever y'all are doing online. There's a lot of live meetings or streaming, whatever you're doing. All right. Yeah, you start to see that come. You're being grateful for these once in a blue moon, once again, opportunities. And you see your abundance coming. Spirit is blessing you. And yeah, because you're manifesting with the most high. And your confidence is definitely key. It's boosting your confidence. You're feeling like the real fire that's in you, Aries, Sag, Leo. Take it out. Resonates. All right. Yeah. Very grateful. Okay. Um, I'm hearing for some who had a baby. Who had the baby? It was a boy. And he's a Leo. He's going to be a Leo, maybe? Yeah. Take it how it resonates. I just heard that. He's gonna. It's going to be a boy. You Probably you have a son. His name is Leo. I don't know. Probably that's what you plan on naming the baby. I don't know. All right? Yeah. So those are the different energies that are coming out with all these. Okay? Put yourself where you belong, my, my beautiful fire signs. Put yourself where you belong. All right. So let's keep pushing out here. Like I said, some of y'all let this person go for who was married to them or with them for a long time. You realize they was out here, you know, being deceptive, not putting the money where it needs to be. They was out here too busy, you know, planning and plotting with other third party situations. And you realize you have to bring it to an ending to a cycle. I could do bad on my own. I can do this all on my own. OK, I'm tired of your deceits and your lies. I, I no longer want to do that. OK. Yeah. So let's clarify this gratitude and loving yourself first. What did I say? Yeah. Yeah. This is the um, Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, like I said, you're releasing the, the secrets, the lies. You're releasing this person over here, this, reje this reject over here. Yeah. You're, not, you're no longer entertaining their bowl. You're no longer entertaining um, what they've done to you. You letting go of these Seven of Swords. You, yeah. I feel like some of y'all are like, you know what? Even though I was sitting here in this self-deceit out here, you know, trying to hold on and believe in you, you know, in the in the impossible with you and planting these seeds out here with you, you know, I was trying to hold on to that, you know? But you know what? Like I said, I'm letting go of the self-deception, okay? Let it go. I'm ending those cycles, okay? No more looking back. And I'm sitting on my throne, all right? Yeah. So I feel like you, yeah, you took yourself out of this hiding all this emotion, you know, being like self, you know, just deceiving yourself, lying to yourself, you know, just living overbearing. Yeah, just too much all up in your head, not wanting to believe what you saw, but you you started to do that. And this person that's feeling rejected, um, yeah, they feel like, oh, man, they, they, by hurting you, they hurt themselves. And that's why they want to come back. That's why they're waiting for divine timing to think that this would work. That's why they're believing in the impossible. Because they see you out here no longer sitting in these lies and these secrets with them and under the, de under the deception with them anymore. Right? They see that you're not doing that anymore with them. And so, you know... They see that you're over here loving yourself and being grateful, yeah, with yourself. And it's making it's making them so attracted to you, attracted to you now. So I feel like they looking back like, damn, I, I hurt I hurt myself by hurting the emperor, empress. Yeah. Yeah. You you release your energy from this and you start putting this gra gratitude into yourself. Yeah, you start loving yourself. And this is what they're seeing now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they're still coming back with this fake imposter energy. Yeah, they're still trying to come back with this trickery, with this solar plex energy. Yeah, I told you, they're trying. 
But it won't work. Spirit is not allowing it to happen. It won't happen. No. They're still trying to come back with this imposter vibe. You know, like, I'm, I'm no longer this trickster. I, I promise I changed. I'm, I'm not like this anymore. Right? Yeah. This is what they're doing. But you're like, whatever. I'm loving myself. I see you for who you are. Okay? Yeah. There's no looking back. Because they're still trying to come like they're, they're, they cleaned up their act. They really haven't. Okay, they still have these third-party situations out here. And some of them are fronting like they got it. They coming around you like they got it. They really broke. They stunting out here. They fake. Okay, like I said, they stunting out here and still having these third-party situations with their deception. They're fake. Yeah. They're fake. And they just want to come back because they see you over here with your new opportunities. They see you out here gaining your new abundance out here. Yeah. Yeah, you no longer living in this energy where you're looking back at them and it's like, well, damn, you know, that's that's wrong how you did me. Still living in this in your solar plex energy of not having any inner peace over them, right? Yeah, I'm not doing that with you no more because they know they should have never left you out. They know that they should have never had you in these third party situations, right? They know that because they was looking back the whole time when they was being deceptive. But now that they see you're in your self-worth, okay, they want to come back like, I'm not this person anymore, I promise. This is an imposter vibe, okay? They just want to come back on your new opportunities and see your bread out here winning, my fire sign. That's what they want. Yeah, I'm not telling y'all what to do, but I'm just letting you know. The cards are letting you know, not even me. The cards are letting you know why they want to come back for some, okay? Yeah, they, they see you out here on your magician energy. Yeah. All right, clarify the soulmate. Let me get push it out here. Soulmate, yeah. Yeah, they, they're trying to gain the strength. They're trying to gain the courage and the whatever persuasion. This, yeah, yeah. It is all about that strength. It's all about that death. You could be dealing with a, um, a Scorpio, my fire signs. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you could be dealing with another Leo. Or right, this could be you, my Leo. You're saying to them, um, excuse me, soulmate. Yeah. You are my soulmate. That's what you're telling this person, my Leo. Could be. Doesn't have to be. Or this is what this um this Scorpio is telling you. Take it how it resonate. Place yourself where you, where you belong. Okay. Yeah. But they believe in, in the impossible. They 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 want they want to rebuild this energy with you. Mm -hmm. They 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 they're gaining the strength to come through and tell you how much they love you. They want to they want they yeah they want to try to con and convince you, um, put this persuasion on you. Mm -hmm. They want to they yeah they want you to believe in the impossible that you are you and them belong together. Mm -hmm. Eight that infinity symbol. We belong together. It's infinity with us, okay? Yeah. Clarify this work waiting for. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. See, but you're not looking back. Because like I said, it, this came out in the reverse of, um, originally. Four of Cups. You're not even thinking about this person's offer. My fire signs. You're not even considering it. Okay? Yeah, and they know that. They know that because when it's in the upright four of cups, this is like, uh-uh, no, I, I need time to think about this. Hold up. I'm not even accepting your offer right now. Wait. Nope. Nope. I, I don't know. I, I got to think about this hard because you've you you you've done some things. You, you've you done some things. This is to me, the four of cups, you still, you're really pissed, but you know, you know, you still love this person. You know what I mean? But you 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 just really pissed at them right now. That's what that means to me. And when it's like this, I gotta reevaluate. You know, I gotta take a long, hard look at this. You know, I I know I don't want to accept this offer. I I don't know. I feel like this is just a wishy washy four cups energy in this vibe, right? But when it's in the upside down, what? Excuse me. I'm not even, I'm not even thinking about your offers. So this person right here went into withdrawal right here. This rejected person. Yeah, yeah. They went into this retreat energy, which is you. I feel like that's you. You're not even thinking or listening or uh, what? I'm not. There's nothing to think about. I'm in my re my retreat, my own abundance out here, figuring me out. So you could stay over there thinking that we're gonna have these opportunities, but Spirit already told them it's not going to happen. Your magician energy has been rejected. It's not going to happen. Your magician energy has been rejected. All right. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Stop it. Cut it out. Stop it. 
Whatever they're trying to manifest onto you, my fire signs. Spirit is like, look, reject. Like I said, unfairness, lack of accountability, dishonesty. Reject. The spiritual judge said, I don't think so. Okay? You're not, you're not going to harass our emperor, our empress out here. They know they self-worth. Okay? Let it go. It's frozen. All right, my beautiful five signs. That's what I have for you. If you enjoyed this read, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button. Thumbs up the video because I am definitely seeking to manifest 1,000 new soul subscribers. So we can wrap in chat. Maybe we can go live. All right. Uh, go ahead and check out my other YouTube channel, Living in Personal Style. And I wish you guys love and lights.